Hey guys, Hong here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. It's been a long time since I've been out in the wild because here in Singapore we are kind of in a second mini lockdown. So stores are closed, shops are closed, a lot of businesses affected, a lot of people's lives affected obviously. So. But it is what it is. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy. It's really nothing more important than being healthy. So yeah, at the end of my last video, my last camping video, for those of you who watched it all the way to the end, thank you. I, um, I'll put the link in the description box if you guys have not watched it yet. But in that video, I went camping at Pulau Ubin and I said that at the end, at the end of that video, I said, I'll be back, see you next month. So that camping video happened in April, and we're now in June, so did not happen. But I needed to be in contact with nature. I think all of us should. So here I am, Coney Island. I'm just gonna walk around, soak in the greenery, and of course, enjoy that spectacular view. the most untrustworthy application, if that makes sense, app you can get here in Singapore is the weather forecast. Now I know the Met Service tries really really hard to predict what the weather is like and it's not easy because well it's tropical areas right so weather could change very easily. Forecast for today was no rain I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro camera because this camera I'm using right now, the Sony ZV-1, probably will not do very well in the rain. So, but before, uh, before it comes really hard, Coney Island. It's uh, not too far away from my home. It's only about 70 kilometers. It's only about seven kilometers away from where I live. And it's a very small island northeast of Singapore in between mainland Singapore and Pulau Ubin Island. So in theory, I'm kind of getting closer to my campsite. And I will be camping next weekend on my birthday. I had five camping permits revoked or canceled over the past month because of the situation. So, all right, time to change cameras.
So yeah, here we are. Sorry about the video and audio quality difference. I hope you guys can hear me clearly. But it's raining, so... <laughs> also gives me a chance to put on this um, waterproof rain cover thingy for the bag, which is cool. It's actually not too bad. It's just like a heavy drizzle, if that makes sense. So yeah, Coney Island. It's uh, it's one of my favorite go-to spots because it's so near home, and there's a lot of wildlife here still. It's like a protected sanctuary. I'm not sure if you can see that. Coney Island Park Habitat Enhancement Program. So yeah, you got uh, your monitor lizards you have a lot of monkeys wild boar up to 80 different types of birds and a whole lot of flowers and wildlife and plants and insect life and it's just really beautiful and i love this i, I actually really love this rainy weather if you're out in the wild let me flip the camera and show you guys what I'm looking at right now. I absolutely love it. It's, it's very refreshing. And I think if you're out in the wild or in a park like this and it starts raining, it kind of connects you more to nature. You can smell the earth and the rain. You can feel it. You can hear it. You can taste it. It activates all your senses. And I think that's why I love this. You gotta be careful about lightning though. That one's dangerous. I don't like lightning that much, especially not if it's gonna hit me. But <laughs> yeah. And also, the nice thing about it being rainy, there's no one around me. Completely on my own. So initially, I was gonna, well, I brought my little fire stove, brought a pack of coffee, three-in-one coffee. I was planning on sitting by the beach, sitting on the beach and firing it up, you know, having a nice afternoon coffee. I cannot live without coffee. What about you guys? Do you guys like coffee or tea or beer? I, I love my beers, but no, I mean, I am a coffee addict in every single imaginable aspect. However, I'm also a very impatient coffee addict, which means when I need a coffee, I just need a coffee like now. So I've got a lot of friends who are coffee connoisseurs, like really know their stuff. I don't. I just enjoy coffee in general. And uh, so these friends would be like, oh no, you're drinking coffee from a can. It's like in, if you're in Europe and you go to a convenience store in Europe and you try to find yourself a canned coffee, you're probably not gonna get very lucky. So yeah, anyways, my plan was to have a coffee on the beach, enjoy the views and the sounds and all that stuff, but yeah, so no coffee for me this afternoon. Maybe later tonight. This would actually be a very nice island to camp on, but it's not, you're not allowed to do that. So, which kind of sucks. But yeah, it is really calming, really beautiful. If you guys have never been here before, I really recommend you guys to come. You don't have to spend the whole day here. You could do four or five hours, bring water, bring a raincoat or an umbrella. And 
good pair of walking or hiking shoes. Speaking of hiking shoes, my hiking boots. Absolutely love them. They are, this is my third outing on them. So still kind of breaking them in, but they are super comfortable. They are waterproof-ish because I stepped into streams and no water came into my socks, but breathable. So it's really, really awesome. All right, enough talking. Gonna keep walking. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see this on the GoPro camera, but there are like a hundred thousand guppies in this little pond. I love guppies. Used to have a lot of them when I was a kid. It's also a dragonfly. Just well, a bunch of dragonflies just chilling here. But yeah, I'm not sure if you guys can see the guppies. I'll try to push in a little bit closer for you guys to see. I do a fair bit of cycling on Coney Island and but the thing about cycling is you're kind of zooming past. I've never seen this little pond before and it's just right next to the pathway. I'm really surprised right now but but yeah there are like thousands of little guppies in there. They're super cute. Still very young, very small guppies. So I've been uh, on this path for about 30 minutes now, coming to the end of the island, gonna do a little loop and just stop for a bit to get that little b-roll of me walking into the water and I heard a rustle and there was a strong pungent smell and you know there's a wild boar just lurking somewhere in the bushes. You could um smell them before you could see them. It's kind of like deer, I guess. When I was growing up in, well, in high school in Canada, in Shawnigan, we, uh, we had deer all the time, everywhere. And sometimes you'll smell them before you see them. So I guess it's kind of the same thing. Wild animals in the wild. That's also why they're prey, because you can smell them before you see them. This is indeed a shared path for wildlife. Those were wild dogs and humans.
So at the end of the day, I will always automatically just gravitate towards the sea. And right across there, that is Pulau Ubin. That's the island I'm supposed to be camping on five times in the past two months. But yeah, so sometime next week, it's my birthday and I will be camping on my birthday back at Pulau Ubin and I will take you guys with me. I have a few things to sort out though. First, this GoPro camera. If you remember on my first camping trip, I dropped it and I cracked the screen. And the problem with it now is seems like I'm having problems with my auto leveling, supposed to stay level. I think you can see that geek. I'm guessing it's because the screen is cracked, which was fine, it's working fine this past three months. And because of this little rain today, maybe some water got inside. So I just realized that. And the second reason, second thing I gotta do is to send my little Sony camera for a cleanup because I go for work. A couple of weeks ago, we had to go into the jungle, get some video footage for work, and I got a huge chunk of mud splatter onto the, the little camera. So, this is so peaceful right now. But I'm getting a little hungry. Alright guys, that's pretty much the end of this short video. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself and thank you for accompanying me on this little day hike. It needs to be longer in duration and further in distance. I did about 8 kilometers, so not too bad. Been sitting here for the past 30 minutes just soaking in that view and you know, thinking about stuff. But yeah. If you guys are not already subscribed to the video, what? No. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. If you look at my channel, you'll see what my channel is all about. Videos on sim racing, the occasional unboxing, product review-ish kind of thing. But the main thing I'm hoping to build my channel on would be the Wanderlust series. So travels when we're allowed to do so, camping, hiking, that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's it folks. Thank you so much. See you guys in the next video. Take care.